Recently, I just did a review of Glock barrels and a Glock trigger job. Did some stuff with the Glock. Anyway, I was doing this review and I'm reviewing all these Glock barrels. I was getting kind of some mixed results on some of the different ones. And I wanted to just do a, a control. I wanted to see how my Springfield did. So I want to do another really quick sort of compare contrast between Glock and Springfield. I did this a while back on kind of the mechanics and the specifics, but this is more for shooting. The Glock and the Springfield cost about the same. With this Glock, we had about a $220 trigger job, okay, to get that kind of up to speed and then also put in a threaded barrel. That drives the cost up quite a bit, quite a bit more than the Springfield. The question is, is the Springfield straight out of the box has the match barrel and has the match trigger. Let's take a look and see how they compare up out of the box and see what you think. Just a quick recap here of the Glock barrel review that I did. You can check that out. You can see we did the, the four different barrels, the Glock, the TK, the Alpha Wolf, and the AIM surplus. Out of those, uh, to me, you know, it was either the TK or the Alpha Wolf, but that's the groups that we got at 50 yards. And what we're going to do now is give the Springfield a shot and see how that compares. This is straight out of the box. No replacement barrel. This is factory other than the Vortex Venom. I want to see how that holds up against the Glock and all these, you know, match barrels and stuff. Let's see how the Springfield does. Let's go take a look. I will say, I like that Springfield trigger way better than a Glock. Fix up, upgrade, whatever. Out of the box, the Springfield blows away the Glock. We had a good group here, but if we extend that. Okay, very likely if I'd done 10 shots, it would have been pretty darn good. You look at that versus the Glock, and there's big difference. So we're all done, and what I did was is I took the Springfield and the Glock with the TK barrel because to me that seemed like you know, probably the best group. And it's hard-pressed to tell which one is better. They're both pretty good groups, I think, at 50 yards. The big difference here is, is yeah, they're about the same, but the Springfield XDM, that's out of the box. I mean, that's, that's not putting any more coin into it, no upgrade on the trigger of the barrel. The Glock, yeah, that's, that's very comparable, but you got to... $220 trigger job and then another another $109 barrel drop in to get the equivalent of the Springfield. There you go, folks. Springfield XDM Glock with a whole lot of upgrades. Out of the box, they're pretty much almost the same cost. Springfield did absolutely nothing to this other than threw the red dot on. This does have a Venom Vortex. One could potentially try to argue, as people like to do on YouTube, that it has to do with the optics, but I don't think it's an optics thing. This Glock has about a $200, $220 trigger job, plus another $100 match barrel. You compare that, you compare the groups. Sorry, Glock fans. This is an absolute no-brainer. This is why I love my Springfield. So why did I get my Glock? I already told you, because I run an AR-15s and I got a whole bunch of 9 mil carbines and they all use the Glock mag and it's just kind of nice to have a sidearm to match with the carbine. As far as a pistol goes, if you're just getting the pistol, Springfield. It's a no-brainer. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. It reassured me why I like Springfield. Be sure to like comment and sub if you haven't visited our webpage do so be sure to use our links and support beyond seclusion till next time happy shooting and be safe